kakaroa, kai te moana, kai te mihi ki a koutou katoa. Ki ka mau ka whakahi, ki te whenua nei, kai te mihi, ki te awa e rere nei, rere tonu, rere tonu. Ka huri ka whakaro, ki a rātou, kua mate, rātou kua hinga, moe mai, oki oki mai rā. Rātou ki a rātou, tātou ki a tātou, te hunga ora, kai te mihi. Ki te mana whenua o tēnei rohe, kai tahu, kāti māmoe, waitaha, whānui, kai te mihi. He mihi hoki, ki ka pakake, ko hoki mai ai, ki te waipau namu, ki aotearoa nei, kai te mihi, kai te mihi. No mai, haere mai, ki Taiari. Welcome to Taiari. You brought us out here, Robin, to the Taiari River mouth. Beautiful day, stunning location, but it's quite a significant location, isn't it? It is a very significant location, Andrew. We're out here today because I really wanted to show you where the pakaki, or the sea lions, first came and um, had pups in New Zealand. So, it's over there, Andrew. Yeah. Just over there. Subsequently, she was called Mum because she was the beginning of a whakapapa of sea lions on the Otago coast. Um, she had 11 pups in all. Her first pup was Katja, her second was Leone, and then Susie, and then Bill, and they were born along this coast. So this is the, the first sea lion that's come back, the first pakake, after they kind of disappeared from the mainland. Yeah, they think it's about 200 years since the pakake bred in New Zealand or had pups in New Zealand. So this um, lone female from the Auckland Islands and um, George McIntosh, who lived on the farm above it, took great care to chase away the dogs and babysit mum's oh. first pup. Wicked. So that's that's quite significant and as a local um, generational family here that must be quite significant, quite meaningful to you and to the people around here. Yeah, as an Itahu or as an Itahu descendant, um, yeah we're so excited and the other locals are as well. It's, it's a pretty special thing um, to have the Pakaki come back here and breed here in New Zealand and on this coastline. So. We feel privileged and we really want to take great care of them. Um, my dad was pretty much involved, Martin Palmer, and his good friend, as I said, um, George McIntosh. And um, yeah, it's passed on down the generations, so it, it's up to um, me to take care of them now. And after that, my son and then my um, moko, my granddaughter. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for bringing us out here. It's nice to come to these places and think about the significance of a, a species coming back to the mainland, repopulating itself after you know, having a pretty hard time. So, kia ora, thanks very much for bringing us here. You're nice. welcome. <laughs>